Heptabase finally made it. The missing piece inside Heptabase was the inbox and it's there. And I made this video, Inbox Closing the Gap in Heptabase Information Flow, October 2028, 2023. That's nearly two years ago. I said, please add an inbox. And if you watched on my main channel, the other video where I explain exactly how to use an inbox and why it's so powerful to keep control of your notes, then you will understand why an inbox is so essential. And finally, at the base they got the point and they implemented the inbox but they not just added a simple inbox no they made it perfectly and that's what we will dive into in this video we will look at the inbox and all the features that we have there and how we can handle our information much better in the base let's dive in so here we are and there's the inbox okay so first to note the task app disappeared on the side this is now part of the inbox and i love this because that's what tasks inside an PKM should be just intermediate steps that I can now perfectly handle in my inbox to then triage into the final destination inside my task manager or my project management tool. So let's quickly look at what this looks like. Okay, let's create a new card and let's say testing inbox and that's that. So let's say I'm on a journal and I mentioned a new card and testing for inbox. Okay. See, this is not existing. I just hit enter. Now I created this card. So this card does not appear here. Okay. So because I already placed it in the right direction. So the card already has the context, the journal. But if I do this in a card library and I create a new card here, new card in card library, this card is now placed here and it will appear in the inbox. That's important to note. We have to understand what is triggering the inbox. So whenever I have context, like being on a whiteboard and I create a card here, new whiteboard card, this is already in context with the whiteboard. So therefore it won't appear in the inbox. This is an amazing implementation because this way it will handle all these cards that I randomly create. And this also means that now the web clipper makes sense and also sending cards from the mobile phone directly to Heptabase makes sense too. I explained it in this inbox video too. The obstacle that we always have with deep thinking systems like Heptabase. When an idea comes up or you see a video that you want to store and things like that. Why we are capturing, we need to think about where do we place it in the system. And that was the issue with Heptabase. That's why I used other tools in addition to Heptabase in order to overcome this. So I have an intermediate inbox that I then can process into Heptabase calmly. Now I don't have to do this anymore. I can directly send things into Heptabase on the go because now I have to control over the inbox. So let's do this with the web clipper. Okay. So let's say I'm on this video. This is the video that I was talking about the inbox on the main channel. If I want to capture this, I can use the web clipper and I'm on the Arc browser here. It will look similar in your browser too, wherever you have installed the Google extension from Heptabase. You click on the web clipper and now it can catches the URL of the video, but I love that it also catches the title already. And I can already add tags, which is a good thing. What I would love now that I can actually create tags while I am capturing. But for the sake of it, let's just use this tag here. It's already saved. I can close this. And when we go now here, you see there's the indicator. This is new and it's instantly there. And the beauty is now let's see how I triage my inbox. I was on the go. I saw this video. I quickly send it here. And now maybe the other day I start processing my inbox. So I sit down and I start going through the items in the inbox. And that's the beauty because previously on the card library, there was a mix of things of new cards that I created, cards that I created during a deep thinking session and so on. So there was never a way to properly sort these things out. There were workarounds like giving it a tag inbox and things like that. But this is all nonsense because here I have now full control over anything that I create that has no context within Heptabase. And this is a beautiful solution that they made there. That's what we always see in Heptabase. They really think this through. And even if it took two years for them to implement this, they made it right. I can click on it and it opens up this card on the side. Another great thing. So this is now it added as a video card. So it seems there's a bit of a improvement that they can make. So I can watch the video. So let's go to the card library and you see here, see, this is a video card. The thing is, I can now decide what to do with this when I triage it. I can just say done. So let's say for the testing inbox. Okay. Here again, I can go in here. I can even add more 
more things. That's a beautiful thing. Before I move it to the final destination, I can give it additional information before I do so. And when I'm done, I say done. And then it just stays inside the card library. Or I can add manage tags. Okay, so I can actually give it the tags right here. I would love if this would be an actual card view. So we actually have access to the information and so on. So I can add all the rich data too. You know, give it a people tag. I would expect that I get these fields because when I open it in a pop-up, you see there are much more fields now. And now I can start filling this out, give this details. That's something I would love to do here. So it's just one click less. But again, it still stays there. I can decide what to do. You see it's living in the card library now and I can snooze it if I want to think about this a bit longer. I can give it a time and I say come back tomorrow and then you see it's going to later and this way I can prioritize the important things that I have in inbox. And again, if you understand how to triage and manage your inbox, you will master your email inbox. It applies to any inbox in the same way. Now let's say I want to have this on a whiteboard. I can go here. I can manage the task, but I can also add it to whiteboard. And I say add it to this whiteboard. Now it's there. I can directly click. It goes to the whiteboard. It zooms to the position where this was placed. It stays still in the inbox. I like this because now I can add this to a another whiteboard in addition and then I mark it done and that's it. So now I can see here my done item. So if I accidentally clicked on done, I can recover it and bring it back into my inbox. That's amazing too. We have the option to use the keyboard to go between them and hit command enter to set it done. Amazing. I can use my keyboard to quickly go through this. I hit enter. It opens the card. I hit escape. It closes the card. This is all amazing. And I have a section for my, rem my reminders and I love the simplicity. This is amazing. And what really shows that they thought this through is this feature. If you're on a whiteboard, for example, and you have a card here, you just need to right click on it. And there you have add to inbox. So when I do this, it moves it to the inbox. So this means I can manually add things to the inbox too. No matter where I am, if I'm in here, use anything like this, add to inbox. And here we go. Subtitle. Okay. It's in a card library. It's on the whiteboard. You remember the card that we created in journal? Open it three dots add to inbox. And now I can go through my system and I know that there might be things that I need to process. Boom, I can all this send into the inbox. Now the last thing that we didn't cover here is the task section. That's something I really love. You see there's one no due date task and you see it's sitting in the card project. I can click there and it opens up the project card. So I can in there tick it off and it's gone. When I go to done, you see all the finished tasks. And this is amazing because sometimes while I'm in the middle of writing or deep thinking, I come across some ideas. Let's say I'm on this whiteboard and I say notes about this video and then I take some notes and then I realize, oh man, I need to watch another video. Just as an example, this is not to manage your tasks. We need to have a proper task management system as busy professionals. Otherwise, we start scattering action in different tools. Now I have a checkbox here. Maybe I have to do this or tick tick or whatever, where you have a task list. You probably have tasks coming from the company that you're working in via email and many things that we need to consolidate in one place. That's why I'm using Sansama. Heptabase doesn't connect with Sansama. There's no point having task management and that's no problem because Heptabase is a PKM system. It's not for task management or project management. It is a personal knowledge management system with some collaboration features, but this is it. So the beauty is always with these tools that when I get a checkbox that I have a consolidated place, no matter on what places I create. So I go elsewhere and I say another example. Now I created scattered actions inside my PKM system. But again, this is the moment where you have a consolidated place like here, where you now have all the things in here. And as they have no due date, they are not appearing as checkbox. So when I, as soon as I give them a due date, you see it starts counting them. Only the things that are due will show up in your inbox. I love this approach because I can give it prioritization. However, as I said, I would never rely on this here as well. I would just now when I'm processing the inbox, go through my actions and now I can properly set up the action in the right action system. And that's amazing. I love this implementation of having these two different types of inboxes in there. It makes all the sense. I was really surprised when they killed the 
task application, but it makes all the sense. Let's not double down on task management and trying to integrate the calendar and so on. Don't do this. Don't go down the Evernote road. Just stay exactly with this approach. This shows that Heptabase is in full control of the application. I love it. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and anyone also using Heptabase because now we can really leverage our PKM system on the next level. And if you haven't subscribed already, do it now and I'll catch you up in the next one.